G'day, today I'm taking a look at composure. I know you all think Aussie Man is this cool, laid back, flawless guy, but I'm a notorious panicker. I drop catches in cricket, I behave deeply, badly, deeply impressed with humans that are the polar opposite of me. Look at this composed bastard. He's like, oh, my truck's out of control. No worries, I can muster up Superman strength out of nowhere to stop it. No cracking under pressure whatsoever. And repetition, build composure, as evidenced in this piece of online media. No way is it his first day on the job. He's been working at this cow food place for ages. 12 to 13 years, surely. But he looks young. Oh, he's one of those young, composed people. Here's another one of those rat bags. He's young, he's got a girlfriend, he's at the top of his game, and this moment proves it. Oh, fuck me upside down. That was incredible. He could have ranted and carried on like a pork chop about how she overestimated her carrying ability but he didn't and she loves it. She's 100% thinking, OMG, take me now, let's have babies. Oh, no way, fuck off. This is not something that's doable. He is stretching the boundaries of the human condition. In this case, it doesn't matter if you're a nervous wreck, riddled with anxiety or a stoic level-headed motherfucker. Catching a cup in a cup is not possible. He's done it! That's composure. It's definitely about achieving something that's impossible on paper. Like, what the fuck? How does that Jenga move make any sense? He used his mind, brain and physical assets such as opposable thumbs to achieve the impossible, I guess. Grandad is proud as punch in the background. This Sheila is smiling and squatting. That's composure. Let's not judge people's decisions here. Let's just see how they act under pressure. No worries, composure. Shooting an arrow using your feet towards your mother and not killing her. Composure. Mum must be thinking, I can't believe that person came out of my vagina. Speeding towards a dock in your boat and drifting into a perfect park. I don't need to say it. Okay, those last few videos have all been very cute, but this is the real shit. There's a dog leash caught in the elevator doors. There is a dog attached to it. The elevator is moving up. What will this hotel manager do? He will save it. He will not stand by and see it get decapitated. There goes my hero, to quote David Grohl. Overall, whether you save fluffy animals with milliseconds to spare, or you stop toilet paper from hitting the ground using quick reflexes, it's all the same thing. It's fair dinkum, splendid, admirable composure. Please use a cool head and press the like button.